What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Third Wheel. I'm here with my glorious co-host. Oh my god! Lauren, did you do your hair today? Oh my, thank you so much for noticing. I just want to take a moment to like let everyone know that I'm back. It's Third Wheel. I'm washing my hair. I did it for you guys. We're really in it to win it this, this few episodes. What happened? Did you become single or something? Why did you start trying? Um, okay, yeah, th that's not about my love life, Hunter. That's right. It is not about your love life. Today, it's about a very special person's <gasps> love life. Our guest today. Hi, how are Hi, you? Hi, I'm good. Tell everybody your name and what you're doing here today. My name is Shalon, and I met this guy that I really like, and I'm just here to tell him that I like him. Okay, so for those that don't know, usually on Third Wheel, we pair people up who have no idea who each other are. Does he have any idea what's going on today? No, he thinks we're going to be singing in a car. What does he think I have, James Corden? <laughs> you, actually, lately, Lauren, you've been looking more and more like James Corden. Dude, I know, I've been getting it all the time. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. This is not helping. Do your British accent just so we can hear it. All right, Shalane, nine, we're gonna go and we're gonna find you a crocodile, mate. This is my first time ever in espionage, I feel like. Right? Or second time, you'll never know. Oh. At the end of the day, both of you are going to make a decision as to whether or not you want to go on another right. date. Are you totally comfortable with that? I'm totally comfortable with it. I just hope that everything matches out and we have a connection. I have faith. You have faith? <sighs> yes, because we're in the third wheel mobile. I have faith too. I'm going to be working with you, but we're not going to tell him no. what the setup is not just yet. Okay. We're going to go through the date, let you guys connect more and get really intimate with each other and then tell him the truth of what he's doing. Yeah, let's okay. make him put all his walls down and then punch him while he's weak. Okay, gotcha. All right, so don't, okay, Lauren, don't do that. <laughs> Hey, let's get it out of our systems now. Oh my, god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, she likes you, 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 she likes you. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah, okay. Hey, hey what's hey, up? Sir. Hey. How's it going? It's going great. Welcome oh. to the car. So, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> well, welcome to the show, on? my friend. Lauren, what's going on? Well, we're on a show where we play tons of fun games and drive around and see who can handle the heat of being in the coolest car in the world all day long. That's pretty much it, I think. So, thank you so much for being here. What's your name, my friend? Shimandre, but they call me Dre. Shimandre, but yes. they call you Dre. Love that. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Uh, you guys know each other, though, right? Uh, yes. yes. You met at a couple parties? Yeah, a couple parties. So, what do you do? Right now, I work part-time, and then I go to acting classes. Cool, and uh, what are like your side hobbies? Playing basketball, playing football. Sports guy. Yes. How much can you bench? <laughs> About 205. Oh, yeah. 205. Same. 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 <laughs> okay, so we know a little bit about each of you, but I want to get to know you that much more. We're going to do some speed questions, and Lauren. Yes. If you had to guess, which one is in the hot seat? Well, Dre, uh -oh. you're in the hot seat, which means we just kind of get to grill you. You have to tell us the truth. Okay. You have to tell us the truth, Dre. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. <laughs> Will you ever become a doctor, Dre? No. <laughs> Damn. If you weren't going to become an actor or an athlete, what would you want to become? A physical therapist. What about you, Shalon? Um, well, I would like to become a writer because I love writing. Really fast, I want you to go ahead and create a 10-second story about me and Lauren, okay? And go. Lauren? Like to Kiss Hunter. I, I agree. It's something that I told her. You gotta stop. What's your favorite color? Blue. Are you single? Yes. What would your ex girlfriend say about you? Your most recent ex? She would say at the end it didn't end very well. Why didn't what it happened end to your well? Be honest with us. I How slid, long was I slid in somebody else's DMs on the Instagram. <gasps> you slid into someone else's yeah. DMs? I, I, I slid, I slid out? The other girl told her. Because, you know, apparently the other girl was her friend. Was so I guess it was like a setup. How long was the relationship? A year and a half. That's why were you time. sliding into someone else's DMs then? That's why I went. She was cute, she was hot, so I just wanted to say hi and say what's up. You know, once in a while you gotta do your thing. Let's play the game. Let's play the game. Let's, the game. Let's go ahead and play our first game, and our first game is called Alka Wars. So I'm gonna give each of you guys an Alka Seltzer. You guys are gonna go ahead and double sided tape it to your forehead. Then you're each gonna get spray bottles, and the first person to spray the Alka Seltzer off the other person's forehead wins. So now that each of you guys are prepared, you look hysterical. Shalon, extremely you literally prepared. Look hysterical. Here's your square bottle. You and look here's adorable. Your Shalon. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> you're missing everyone, Shalon. And you're walking. Oh! I got it! I got it! Hunter, are you okay? I'm okay! Wait! Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on! Hold on, hold on! 
Hold on. No more nonsense. No blocking. No, no evading. No dodging. You just gotta go through it. Three, Three two, two, one, go! Yes! What are you aiming? Aim down. Aim at his forehead. You're not hitting him. Oh, he's he's getting ah, so I got good. hit. Yeah. I've been hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh my gosh, well, it's, it's, a little, it's an interesting story because Dre was the only one hitting the other person's Alcazazzer. Can I show you where you were aiming? Directly into this vent Someone. up here. You didn't hit his forehead <laughs> once. Well, let's just say that first game was Al Alcavores. So in this next game, we're calling MASH. This is MASH the game. It stands for Mansion Apartment Shack House. Lauren, why don't you go ahead and pull over? Oh, I can do that. So, okay. give me two spouses. Shalom, we'll start with you. Justin Bieber and Evan Peters. And then, of course, the last one is going to be Dre. All right, career. Writer. Actress. Actress. And then, Dre, why don't you give her a fun career? Skip roll. That's not a career. Skip roll. I'm not sure what that career is, but I do appreciate a the social uh, creativity. Worker. Social worker on Skid Row. Great. Yeah. Pets. Lauren, what kind of pet do you think Shalon would have? Oh, I think she would have an aquarium of fish. I think you look more like a uh, flamingo person, personally. <laughs> <laughs> And then Dre, what kind of pet do you think she'd have? Ah, uh, Chihuahua. Chihuahua. How many kids do you want to have, Shalon? Seven would be cool. Seven kids? What the freak? Why not? All right, well, if you think you're going to have seven, you might be one of those people who ends up with like 33. <laughs> so I'm going to put that down. Lauren, how many kids is your worst nightmare? Oof, like 15. No matter what, you're going to have a lot of kids. Vehicle. What kind of car do you drive now? A Dodge Caliper. Dre, what's your dream car? A Bugatti. Or you can be driving a Bugatti. Bugatti. Tesla for me. And a Tesla. We'll put that down as well. So you have two good options there. And then, of course, we have Mansion Apartment Shack House. Uh, Shalon, why don't you go ahead and uh, tell me when to stop tallying? Okay. okay. Stop. We did four. Okay. okay. So we're going to start with Mansion Apartment Shack House. M A S H is gone. Actress, Skid Row, Fish, Flamingo. Gone. You're lost. 733, Dodge Caliper, Bugatti. Dre, I'm so sorry. Oh, man, the Bugatti's gone? <laughs> Apartment Shack JB looks like you and Dre. Woo! That's your spouse. Yes. <laughs> Actress Skid Row Seven. You're not gonna have 33 kids, Dre. You're just having seven. That's All pretty right. good. Final one. You ready for this? Actress Skid Row. Actress Skid Row is crossed oh, out. Yes. yes. She's an oh actress. You guys are married. <laughs> Give each other a hug. This is uh, this is the start. Hug or high five, what a, yeah, yeah, there we go. That's way better. That was actually 100% natural. You guys, uh, it just seems like there was some sort of natural uh, attraction. Trey, do you know what this show is? Have you ever watched this show before? Um, no, I thought it was like some type of karaoke thing. And have you been wondering where all the karaoke is? Where is the karaoke? At? Yeah, that's actually, what I've been wondering too. It? We're not actually a karaoke show. Uh, instead, we're a show called Third Wheel that takes people off the streets puts them in this car and sees if they're compatible to see if they might want to go on a second date. Uh, and Shalon, well, um, Shalon, why don't you go and explain? So I thought this would be a great opportunity to tell you that I think you're like really handsome and I don't know, I just like your personality too. You know, I don't mind, you know, if you were to go out sometime. So before you make a decision right now, the way it works is Dre, you and I will stay inside the car. Shalon's gonna hop out of the car with Lauren. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, just talk for a minute, regroup, because I know this is a lot to take in right now. Okay. Uh, so Lauren, why don't you go and pull over literally yep. anywhere. Okay, so what are you thinking? Where's your head at right now? He's super cute. If you did go on a second date, like what, were, what are some things that maybe you'd want to do with him or like look out for her. Right. I mean, honestly, like I would just like him to explain himself and you know, everything. Cause you know, I do believe in second chances. Of course. Cause I still, you know, would like to get to know him even more. Right. Dre. Yes. Did you see that coming? No, I did not see that coming <laughs> at all. Tell me the pros and cons of this uh, this date. The pros, she's cute, she's funny. Honestly, just after the whole, I slid in somebody's DMs and he was in a relationship, just shows me that he's not at all. I know. think you did the right thing. Yeah, you, now you like totally know who the real him is. Yeah, no, which is I someone who slides into people's DMs, which is super weird in my opinion. The cons: too skinny. She needs to be a little thicker. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna go get back in the car because that's, you know, my job as okay. the host, and hopefully I see you inside. Okay. Bye. Bye. So, do you know what decision you want to make right now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? Is the door locked? Wait, what? We're leaving her on the side of the street? Hunter, what did you do? He decided! What happened while I was outside? Trey, explain yourself, bro. She's too skinny. I'm crying right now. <laughs> That's how unfortunate this whole situation is. Dre, you are an interesting fellow. I appreciate your honesty. Lauren, thank you so much for driving. Anything you want to say? No. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Third Wheel. Well, no, 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 no. I'm your host, Lauren Elizabeth, and that is your co-host, Kylie Jenner. Thank what? you so much for mm. being here today, Kylie. You're welcome. It's just super fun for all of us. I know this looks like all my other outfits, but I tried to spice it up a little bit at least because it's Halloween! <laughs> it's about to be a spooky, spooky, doomy episode of Third Wheel. And not only are we dressed up, but our SUV Suburban is dressed up as a minivan. It has Woo! nothing to do with the fact that there was a recall on the SUVs and the production had to figure it out. It only has to do with the fact that this is Halloween and we're all dressed up. You guys know the drill. On Third Wheel, we find two random strangers. We sit them down in these seats right here. We put them through speed questions, challenges, games, all in hopes of seeing if they're compatible. And if they are, we are so kind and drop them off on a second date. If they aren't compatible, well, that sounds like a really big personal problem and we're just gonna kick you out of the car and have you figure it out yourself later. I have Halloween parties to go to. I don't. He has no friends. No one invited me. Let's go find some spooky, spooky people ready to celebrate love and Halloween with us in this minivan on this episode of Third Wheel Third Halloween Wheel. Edition. Lauren, you should have worn a costume for today's episode. The order of funny yeah. in this car right now is the minivan at the top. That is totally. so funny. So funny. Then me, and then uh, maybe the guests that get in, depending on how funny they are. And then I swear to God, you're right there, Lauren. But at the top is the minivan, and that's what I'm trying to get at. You're making me feel like Can we just pick up our first dater? Hi! Hi! Hi. Be careful, it's kind of spooky in here. Yeah, it's just a little, <laughs> this is so weird. Right? Are you a Hershey kiss? No, I'm just myself. Guess okay. what I am. I want to be Barbie. Well, technically, yeah. What's your name? I'm Emily. Hi, Emily. I'm Lauren. Hi. That's Hunter. We're Hi, gonna Lee. Hunter. We're going to be your love guides today. This is a special episode because it's a Halloween episode, Emily. So That's we're going to get favorite holiday. Super... No way. Yeah. So, Emily, why did you get in this car? Why is a beautiful girl like you that loves Halloween so single? Um, I don't really think guys suck. Preach. Why do you think guys suck? What happened with your last boy? He just kind of ghosted me. How long were you guys together? Like six months. <gasps> Those are just for six months, what do you mean? Can you teach us, girl? Well, we were actually living together. What the heck? And then all of a sudden I come home and his steps out of the apartment and I thought we had a robber and there wasn't a robber. So we know what your type is not. What are you looking for, guy? What's your type? They have to be like the macho man, that can, like, because I'm a little hard to handle sometimes. But then they have to be kind of the sensitive, sweet kind of painter that can like, you know, paint me pictures or sing me songs. Like you specifically need a painter. No, like an artist. So they have to be like a sensitive, sweet artist, but like a macho man. Well, I have no control of what gets in the car. We're just going to pick up someone random, but I can assure you that I'm going to make you guys fall in love. What is one thing if he gets in this car, you're going to be like, absolutely not, no way, kick him out right now, Lauren. If he just was like, I have to pee, and then he peed in the car, that okay, would be like Okay, yeah, like that's like super valid. Like that's uh, happened twice. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. I don't think that there's hand sanitizer in here for his hands, so I think that would be like... You don't have to wash your hands if it's just pee. What's wrong with you? He looks macho and he looks like a Whoa, paint. he looks like a painter. Like literally, sure. swear to God, like exactly. Welcome to Third Wheel! Welcome to Third Wheel! What's your name, sir? I'm Brian. So, Brian, um, what brings you in this car, you single Pringle? Uh, just walking around, you guys picked me up, so now I'm in the car. Okay, let me get some first impressions of each other right now. Emily, what are you thinking? Um, I'm going go on a mountaintop for a week and just meditate. What are you thinking? What do you think of Emily? Hmm, it seems like you're a very bright personality. You got the lipstick, which is like, you like to show like, like 
like, you know, your personality off and everything. Thank you. Nice eyes. Yeah, you got some nice <laughs> lipstick on, too. Okay, guys, so now we're going to get into our next little fun game, which I like to call Speed Questions. It's my nice. favorite thing in the world. Brian, since you got in the car second, you are actually in the hot seat, which means your seat is not only burning up, but you are on the spot, bro. I'm just basically going to ask a bunch of questions, and you're going to answer them honestly and truthfully, and we're going to get to know each other. What's your favorite holiday, Brian? Favorite holiday, Christmas. Love Christmas. Emily, I know yours is Halloween, right? Yeah. How do you feel about Halloween. Christmas? Kinda hate Christmas. Christmas. You hate Christmas. You got presents. I mean, like compared Bad to Halloween, Christmas. where you could dress up and be whoever you want. You dress up on Christmas and yeah. your present. What do you want to be for Halloween, Brian? Um, probably Elmo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've always Here enjoyed his voice and everything do like it. that. Do it. Do his voice. Ah, you know Elmo. That's pretty bad, but I tried. That was the best. Bad. That wasn't bad, right? Cute. All right, good. nice. All right, cool, cool, cool. cool. Did you guys grow up trick or treating? What's your favorite Halloween candy? Oh wow, Kit Kat bars right off the bat. The little um, candy corn thing. You oh. like the candy corn? I would eat it. I would eat it. I like candy corn. So I bad. No I would eat it so bad to the point where like my adult teeth came in. They came in fast because my my child teeth were like rotting because I would eat That's so much hot. candy corn. <laughs> You guys just made me so much more excited for Halloween. So now we're gonna play a game! Yay! <laughs> okay guys, so we're gonna play a Halloween inspired game because this isn't a Halloween inspired episode. And it is called Bobbing in Beans. Emily, I know you can't actually bob for the kumquat, so we've made a special rule for you that you have to do with your eyes closed and you have 10 seconds. If you don't beat me with your hands, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> I love this competitive rivalry already. 15 seconds on the clock, and go! Stop, you're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. Oh. How'd I do? Good? How many did you get? Four. Four! That's not bad. I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with four. Emily, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna turn your whole body towards the door. You're gonna stick your hand behind your back, your left hand with your eyes closed. Oh, gosh. And then you're gonna reach. On the count of three, you have ten seconds. Okay. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Ew! Oh, you can get it out. Yes, I won. You got two, it's two to four. Brian, you won. Big plays. You're so good with your mouth, Brian. Thank you for noticing. Okay, guys, so Brian, you are the winner. Emily, I'm so sorry, but you're the loser. But don't worry, I have something special in store for you because I want to give you another chance to redeem yourself. Are you down? Yeah. So we have another cool. game for you guys, and it is called Bo Smashing Pumpkin. Woo! That's it. Here's your bag. Can I hit him with this? Wow. No. You each get three hits, and whoever breaks it gets first dibs at whatever's in the pumpkin. Three, two, one, go. Smash the pumpkin. Oh my ah. god, so close two. to his hand. So close to his hand. Okay, it's switch. Oh, I'm gonna win. <gasps> ah! Oh, oh my, that's it. What we didn't tell you is this pumpkin is made with Kevlar. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, so close. Protect my hand. Alright, here goes the handle. Oh, it's inside! Whoa! Pencils so and cards. What is Tabasco this? sauce! Why is there poop in Oh, can I keep the bag? This is the best Halloween ever! Ever? Oh, oh she's the best. Keeping all this sticky notes. Oh no! But you throw poop at me! Why did you throw poop at me? I'm into that kind of stuff. That's so gross. That might be a deal breaker. <laughs> what a great first date. Tell I get poo it. thrown at me. I have beans on the stump of my hair. hair. It's the most successful first date I've ever had. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's your salad. So this is the time in the day where I get to sit back, relax, and I let you guys kind of talk about maybe what you would do on a second date. I'm gonna let you plan those. I'm a big adventure guy. I have to go do stuff. Like? Be outside, I don't know, go hiking, or Ooh, like go to the cool. beach, just go on the beach all day. Or, I'm not gonna lie, have you ever played Ding Dong Ditch? Yeah, when I was eight. Yeah, dude, yeah, I still Wait, play Ding do? Dong Ditch. What are the things? You literally knock or bang on someone's door. Yeah, let's do that. I've been caught a few times because I was wearing heels and I am just play Ding Dong Ditch in heels? Yeah, I wanted to look cute. What would a second date look like? Walk me through it. I'd pick you up first. Okay. But he would ding dong ditch when he went to pick you up and he wouldn't be there at all. God. What a sick mind. You're mean. And then we'd have to do something romantic. Like? Uh, uh, go back to my place. Turn off all the lights, That's get weird. Romantic. That's pretty romantic. I'll light a candle. All right, Laura, well, I think it's decision time. I think it's decision time. 
guys. This is the part of the show where Brian, you get out of the car with Hunter. You guys are gonna have some boy talk. Me and Emily are gonna stay in the car with some girl talk. And then we'll see if the door is unlocked or locked. And for you to get back in, if it's unlocked, see you soon. If it's not, bye. Oh, what's going on, man? It's not looking good, huh? It's like... I don't think she likes me at all. It's like for Halloween, you dressed up as this like really sweet guy, and then she dressed up as one of my bullies from middle school. Okay, Emily, tell me everything. What are you thinking? What's going on? Pros. I like the ding dong ditch thing. That's really funny. What were the pros and cons of the date in your opinion? Pros, chicken nuggets. That Con? has nothing to do with it. Okay, true. Very good. Um, I mean, that's your only pro. Chicken, chicken nuggets. That's your only chicken. No, no, no. Ch I want all the challenges for the whole date. So again, just nothing to do with her, but that's okay. Con, I think, a little wishful thinking that I can go back to his place on the second date. That's something not really romantic to me, and it kind of just seems like that's all he'd be using me for. I mean, he's really nice, but I felt like I was talking to my cousin. Now walk me through the cons. Cons. She's mean to us. She wanted to play Ding Dong Dish with heels on. What do you want? What do you want to play? What do you want to play baseball with a celery stick? You know what I mean? Good luck. I'm gonna go head in, and then you wait a little bit, and then you see if it's unlocked, man. Good All right, luck. Sounds good. Thank you. In your head, do you know your decision? Yes. Okay. Oh. Why? Wait. What, what happened? My final decision was you treated my boy Hunter way too mean. I think you'd be the same way to my friends. It's okay. My final decision was you reminded me of my cousin. Damn, is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing, I guess. Hey, try my door real fast. Try my door. Oh, yeah. Later, brother. The door is always That's open, bro. I'll see you soon. Bro. Yeah, dude, definitely, man. Okay, guys, well, we didn't find love. We might have found a bromance, which is not the point of the show, but, you know, it's Hunter's world. We're all just living in it. Thank you so much for being on today's episode of Third Wheel. Hopefully, we can find you a spooky, spooky crush next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>